Hey, happy Father's Day. It's Johnny Boy. Oh, I don't you do it now. Is it recording? No. Are you recording on there? So it's right. <laughs> right, go. Hey, happy Father's Day. It's Johnny Boy. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the notification button, and if you've enjoyed the video, give it a like. So here we are, we're in Alison's garden room and the reason we're in this Alison's garden room is simply because I want to tell you a little bit about the updates, what we've been doing at Greentop Landscapes. So recently, as I've explained in previous videos, is that our Apple Mac was over 12 years old and it was just slowing up and clogging up. It was a real easy process before when I used to come in with my Android from work, I just press upload to the Google Gmail, the photos would upload, I would go in, I would save the images and the videos that I wanted, the clips that I wanted, and then I would just go onto iMovie and then I would just load it up onto the platform there. Very, very simple process. But with the uh, computer as it was, it was just slowing up, clogging up completely, and it was getting a little bit more and more frustrating day by day. So basically, what I looked at, we needed to change the computer, we needed to change from an an Android to an iPhone okay the other thing of course when you're out during the day landscaping as we do you're working with the elements the rain you're working with all the mud the cement the slurry and you don't want on the equipment that you're actually using because it's just so expensive anyway so looking at all the equipment that we've actually got now we've got a Canon 80D which is a brilliant camera okay we've got the the iPhone which the quality of the iPhone is exceptional we've got the Pivo system here which will zoom in and follow me around as and when I move like so so that's working the other thing is what we've also bought we've bought this Sony ZV okay it's got the built-in microphone and of course what we have got this is the second one we've bought we've got the dj mini 2 uh drone and this should be invaluable in the future it just seems to be everybody is actually using drone shots and i think it does work without a shadow of a doubt um look the the most important thing is that i want to improve the quality and the content of the video and it's about time I listen to you guys, the viewers, because you give me your time and I need to invest in the time that you're giving me and show my respect to you. So what we're going to be doing this year now, we're going to try and produce more content and with your feedback and your help, it will just help us to improve what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you've got any ideas how we can improve, okay, certainly with the editing, and in a recent video, I just messed it up completely because I got the audio wrong and I just never noticed. I'm always in a hurry to get things done. So as I said, with your help, we are going to improve. We are going to improve better content. We're going to talk about the things that you want to talk about. But please bear in mind that sometimes it's difficult bringing you that content, especially when it's raining, especially when it's snowing and it's freezing weather. And of course, when we got clients watching us when we should be getting on with our work so that's it now watch this video of our recent project that we've just started and again it's about Paul Saint. if there's anything else that you want to talk about let's talk if you want to give me a call on 07795 595 994 I'd be happy to take your call and talk about the problems that you have also, don't forget, you can drop us an email, info at greentoplandscapes.co.uk, where you can just send us a brief message on the support that you may need or the advice that you may, may need. It doesn't matter where you are in the country or where you are around the world. Just give us a call. Remember, be safe, and I'll see you soon. Well, what Ryan's doing there, we've got some sub bass in here, but then we've got to fill all this with, with a Lemix. Uh, we've got our, our all in coming now soon, the ballast, but hopefully today this will all be 
sort of at one level for this split level, defining the shape of the top patio. So we've got this lean mix bed in now, and uh, sorry about the audio, but we've got to carry on working. But Ryan's uh, compacting that lean mix now. You can see it starts bouncing, that's when you know. When it starts bouncing, that's when you know going solid. Well there you are, there's the match. So normally in the winter you see me using a real dry mix. As long as it's got some moisture in there, but look at that. Look, this is a... Uh, this isn't necessarily... It looks wet, but... It, it's just got the plasticizer in there and, and, the, and the right amounts and it's nice and sticky, but there's not loads and loads of water in there. It's just allowing the plasticizer to work really. Oh, what are you doing on your phone? I'm allowed. It's the most important job of the day. I'm checking out, look at this. The deals at ITS, that's the tool guys, the flash deals they've got, full range it's incredible the amounts of tools they've actually got there but don't forget mine the milwaukee the dewalt and the makita range especially but they will price match okay next day delivery seven days a week yes seven days a week go to their website www.its.co.uk now i've got to get back good morning good morning now we were just talking about this and about the line and the reason we put the line in, if you look at that now, this is gonna be the thickness of the coping stone that we're gonna put on the wall. 3CM slate. And if you look at that now, you can actually see the difference in height. So it's about 20 mil. So we've got this wall or this split level. It's not a wall. We've got this absolutely right running around on that side. And somebody asked, why we put the string lines in should we just go off the slabs but if you're just going off the slabs you won't get it direct from a to b with this now from that pin over there if i just flip that you see which one i'm talking about from that pin over to this pin to this point here as well we know that the height's going to be right and then your paving is running nice and flat Here we are this is the uh, easy prime from aspects and i gotta say it's a fantastic slurry i always put a little bit more on like you know and i think that's that's the, the key is to sort of when you're pricing is to allow that extra tub because that extra tub will make a difference because when you put it on like i've got there it's almost like cream cheese and uh it makes a difference because it really does stick down so uh yeah looking good Well, that's it. Ryan's walking away because he's a little bit shy, uh, camera shy. I'm trying to get him in, in view here. I'm not going to say nothing to him. No, he's gone now. He's gone. He's gone. There he is over there. No, look, we've uh, we've had a good day. We've pushed on and we've got a fair amount down. But as Ryan said, it's not about the uh, quantity. It's about the quality. And if you look, we've got lines everywhere uh, to ensure that that paving is nice and even an even surface not up and down and undulated like you see all too often we're going to continue with this garden in the morning or this patio i should say rather we're going to head towards the steps over there and we're going to push towards the next part of the split level in this yin and yang porcelain patio that's it for now um, if you've enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe if you've enjoyed it even more just click the notification button at the top. Have a great day. Be safe.